Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a wig review for uni wigs. Um, I have worked with uni wigs before on Instagram and they reached out to me again and asked if they could send me another one of their trendy synthetic wigs. So I said yes and I just got the box in the post today. So I did actually go a bit bold <laughs> with this wig. Um, uni wigs, the first wig that they sent me was a platinum blonde very long wig which I will try and insert a photo of. Uh, this time I actually decided to go for a red wig. So when you open up the box, inside you obviously have your wig and it comes with the net around it. Just pop that off and also tissue in the cap. So I'll just kind of run through the specs with you. This wig is called Medusa. It's kind of like a brown, like a deep brown red in colour. It's lace front. i try and show you. So the lace is transparent and the hair is 23 inches long so that is going to be quite long on me i'm only five foot three so it's probably going to be waist height it is made from heat friendly synthetic fibers so you can curl it and you can uh, straighten it if you want to so the inside the cap you've obviously got the lace front here and then you've got the adjustable straps just at the back and you've also got the combs if you do have hair obviously you can tuck the combs into your hair uh, they don't tend to bother me so I just kind of leave them on but I think you can cut them out as well so I believe that this is a medium cap size I personally have a small head um I have measured it it's 21.5 which is a petite cap size with the average cap size, I am fine as long as it has the, adjust no, <laughs> the adjustable straps and you can obviously make it smaller to fit your hair. So in the box you also get your wig cap. Um, I don't tend to wear a wig cap and if I do, um, obviously it doesn't really do much other than just help for comfort. And it also comes with a little leaflet that tells you how to care for your wig. So I'm just going to go pop this on and I will show you exactly how I styled it. Okay, so I've got the wig on and as you can see, the colour is gorgeous. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be this, not natural, but obviously it's like a really nice blend of brown and red. So I haven't cut the lace off at the moment, but I will try and show you guys the part in. What I tend to do with synthetic wigs is I actually flip them only because I feel like some synthetic wigs can sit a bit too flat to my head and obviously like I said I have a small head I don't want it to look even smaller. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and cut off the lace and the way that I like to do that is I've just got my mirror I'm just going to cut straight up the front so that it's into two parts and from here I'm literally just going to cut close but not super close to the hairline and the reason that I say don't cut super close is you can always go back and cut more but you obviously can't um, you can't stick the lace back on obviously so it's better to be safe I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this side okay so I've cut all of the lace off and what I will say is the parting on this is quite straight so I probably will need to go in and kind of pluck some of the hairline in the front I feel like um, darker wigs are a lot less forgiving than blonde wigs uh, blonde wigs you can kind of get away with just sort of cutting the piece on the side 
and then tuck in behind your ear but with this one I do feel like the hairline is just a bit too straight so I'm gonna probably mess around with that but I will show you guys how I will make this wig look more um, natural to like the knots in the front I'm not gonna lie I actually really love the colour the colour is just gorgeous I said I do tend to wear it pushed over when they're synthetic wigs but you could still obviously part it wherever you like because you have got that room to move around the parting with the lace front so my first tip is going to be to apply makeup to kind of just disguise the knots a bit so what I like to do is at first I will go underneath the cap with a dense brush so one with the bristles are obviously compact and then put powder onto that brush go on the inside of the cap and kind of just put it underneath so that the knots get disguised and another tip that I've kind of been using recently is I have a stick foundation this one was quite cheap I think it's revolution and I just put it on to a small brush and just grab my mirror and where the knots are in the front I just dab this over the top just to kind of make it look a bit more blended so I'm just going to show you guys how long this actually is half get up move back for you so the wig comes obviously just to waist height so the wig does kind of have like a natural curl to it I'd be more inclined probably to straighten this wig so I am going to make a separate video on how I actually fully apply my lace front wigs but I am just going to use got to be glued just to kind of seal down the sides and obviously lay the top flat and then I'm probably just going to cut the side piece just so that I can push it behind my ear and I'll be back and show you guys that in one second okay so I'm back and I did cut in some little hairs on the side which are obviously going to help when I push the hair behind my ears that's usually how I like to wear a synthetic wig I usually straighten them and then flip them over to the side and I'll just cut these little bits on the side as well so that when it goes behind my ear it looks more natural uh, today's video was just kind of an unboxing just so that you guys could see the colour and obviously my first impressions of the wig uh, I probably will be posting some Instagram photos in the wig so if you want to check me out on Instagram just to see what, exactly what I'm going to do with the wig then you can follow me on there it's just Lauren Neat on the screen and yeah that's it guys so I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one